Hey guys, I'm doing another video, and today I'm going to be doing a DVD update from all the DVDs that I got from last month. So yeah, let's get into it. The first one that I got, which was just under a month ago, was um, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty with Ben Stiller. I love this film, it's really uh, heartwarming, and it's a quite cool story. He has like daydreams, or well, kind of like that. It's a really good film. Glad I got it. Then, a week after I got that, I got uh, Spider-Man 1. I had it on video. But I just decided to get it on DVD so I can actually watch it in my room. Because my DVD, uh, my video player is downstairs. And yeah. Two disc. So I'm glad I got it. Yeah. And it comes with this cool booklet. I'm telling you about like how he, Stan Lee got the idea. It's really cool. Then, th that was only, um, I did work. And that was only 50p. So I, I also got Family Guy Season 13. Which I've done a video unboxing it. And it's really good. I especially love the first disc. It has a lot of good episodes. And it comes in a cool slip. Cover. I like the cover. I like the black and white. It's doing bite. Then off eBay, I got the Hangover Part Two. Which I've done. Uh, I've I've just done a review on the trilogy this is the worst i got it off ebay for my pocket money and it was only two quid and i also got anchorman which i want to get the second but just waiting to get enough money and then i will i heard it's not like really good it's okay so yeah got that which I, I really think that's funny. Good actors in it as well. It's got um that guy. <laughs> I forgot his name. He's kinda funny. And he's weird. And he's beast. And she didn't annoy me. She was good. I also got Hangover Part three as well. Which I've watched two times, two or three times. Doesn't get old. Leslie Chow for the win. Literally. Funniest person. Apart from Alan. I think he's. Leslie Chow is the funniest character in the films. Especially in there. He really shines in there. Because he's in it more. Because in the first and second, he's not in it too much. But in this, it's so funny. I've also done a video on this unboxing it, which is the Indiana Jones the Complete Trilogy. I have the fourth, which is the, the next DVD. I consider this a trilogy, because we all know the fourth is... It, it isn't worthy of being called Indiana Jones. First two and three are all... 7 plus out of 10. That, the 4th is like 4 out of 10. Not even that, in my opinion. So yeah, I got the trilogy. This is the one with the burnished material. I said, the same time I bought that, exact same day, I bought the original Star Wars trilogy, and it was off the same seller and everything, from the same company, from the same 
place. And I don't know what. Still hasn't came after two, nearly two weeks. So yeah, a bit weirded out after that. It said it was posted on Saturday. So it should come Thursday, maybe tomorrow. So yeah, and enough, enough ranting. <laughs> Number four, which yeah, I've just told you everything about. I I only got it just to, for just for the collection basically, which I won't watch. I might watch it in a couple of weeks. I've I've watched it before twice, and I just didn't like it. Then we have the Star Wars prequel trilogy box set. Which, the third is quite good, actually. I give it, like, a 7 out of 10. Attack of the Clones is, like, a 4 out of 10. Phantom Menace, I've told you in the unboxing video, because I had it the same day as the Indiana Jones. Phantom Menace is a guilty pleasure. I, I really like it, actually. Give it... I give The Revenge of the Sith, actually, an 8 out of 10. And Phantom Menace, just because first Star Wars that I watched, I love Qui-Gon Jinn. I don't know why. Darth Maul is pretty cool. A bit too choreographed. Because, like, in the original, the fights had more, like, emotion to them. But I give that a 7 out of 10. The Phantom Menace don't hate. Then, last Friday, which was... One, two, three, four days ago, I went to Chess Rooks on the hall, as you can see, in the hall, got that. I didn't get that, but I just put that there, because in the video where I show where I got them, that was a Black Ops 2, took it down, because it crap, and that, which I really love that, I think it's really cool, that one's pretty cool as well. And I also got Transformers 1. And Transformers 3, I nearly said 2 then. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of unboxings, hopefully, next week. Because I have bought um, the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, which should come on Tuesday. Get Rich or Die Trying, with um, 50 Cent in it, Curtis Jackson. Austin Powers, the spy who, you know, the second Austin Powers. Have it on video, just get it on DVD because it's only a quid. And um, I think I said in an earlier video, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Season 1. I have Season 3 and 4. And in the six weeks holiday that's just coming up, after three days I'll have it. I'm aiming to get season 2 and 5. Season 2 is only 10, season 5 is 20. So I'll have to work. But next week, season 1 of Clone Wars, Transformers 2, Get Rich or Die Trying, and Austin Powers 2. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. That All of the DVDs that I had from last month, just a recap. Secret Life of Ultimate, Spider-Man, the original, Family Guy Season 13, Hangover 2, Anchorman 1, Hangover 3, Indiana Jones, oh crap, the box set, Indiana Jones, the fourth, Star Wars prequel trilogy, Transformers 1, and Transformers 3. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Probably do a couple more because I'm bored. Day off school for other kids are going to Alton Towers, which is jammy. Didn't want to go. So, yeah, see you in the next video.